In a hard truck, there are two types of jobs. There are reoccurring jobs, and there are ad hoc jobs. Ad hoc jobs are random jobs. They have different loads, at different locations, to different destinations, at different times. They pay, ran not random, but they pay different amounts of money, and you can never be sure if they will even appear. If we open our notebook by pressing L, we can see the other type of job, which is a recurring job. If you move the scroll bar right here, it will move the, the, the notebook all the way from Monday to Saturday. Reoccurring jobs happen every week. They will be the same job, the same place, pay the same amount, and have the same goods delivered to the same city. They will happen every single week without exception. I'll be like, okay, well, sounds great. Let's just ha let's just have a recurring job delivered to the same place every single day. We could, but there's a better way. We could get drivers who will work for us. We tell them to pick up this job every week. They'll do it, and they will charge them a small fee of their profit. So we'll make money doing nothing just by assigning that job. You sound well, it's great, let's do it. Right now, we don't have any drivers, meaning we haven't met anyone. In order to meet drivers, you have to do some load, go to different cities, and then you'll get a notification that, oh, you just met a new person. This will happen randomly, but the more places you go, the more people you meet. There's another thing. If you look at the top right corner, it says rating. Right now, we have one empty white star. Our rating can go all the way up to four black stars. Jobs are assigned based on stars. In other words, if you only have one star, you can't get a job for three stars. They won't let you. However, if you have three stars, you can get lower star jobs, of course. So, let's say we got a driver, and do we want to sign in one of these recurring jobs that happen all the way throughout the week? If we click that, we can't for some reason assign it, even regardless if we had a driver or not. If you look at the bottom right here, it says you can assign this job. You have to get a license for this route. What? What's a license? A license allows you to bring a load from one city to another. There are different types of licenses depending on which route you can take. Which route you take. For example, these are all the licenses. One license is from San Francisco to Los Angeles. Once you get that license, you can deliver reoccurring loads from San Francisco to Los Angeles every week. You can get licenses from one star all the way to four star. You can still get ad hoc jobs, which are random jobs, regardless if you have a license. Licenses just allow us to assign jobs, reoccurring jobs, to drivers. Without licenses, we can't hire other people to do the job for us. Like, okay, great, let's get a license then. How do we get a license? Can we just click on the job and do it ourselves? There's a problem. We don't need to assign, in order to, in order to get a job ourselves, we don't actually need to assign it to ourselves. All we have to do is show up at the correct location, at the correct time, the job will appear, and we just take it, just like a regular random job, an ad hoc job, and we deliver it to the location. If we deliver it on time, and with minimal damage, they'll award us a license because we did a recurring job. And like, sounds great. Well, how do we get that first recurring job? Well, if we look right now in our map by pressing M, we can see that right now we're in San Francisco because it's highlighted green. If we open our notebook back up, go into jobs. If we go in San Francisco, the nearest job we have right now is San Francisco to LA. Let's look down here what it appears. It says San Francisco, the location is called Inner City Group. The product is steel. It happens on Tuesday, 1341. This game uses military time. So we have to show up at 1341 on a Tuesday at Inner City Group. If you look down here, right here. Okay, great. Then let's head to San Francisco and find a place called Any City Group. Okay, 
right, if we look where we are, right now we're at something called ML and Associates. That's definitely not inner city group that we're looking for. So let's go ahead and find a different place. Oh, let's look at this place, ICG. Oh, look at that, it says inner city group. So I guess this is the right place. Now all we have to do is show up at the right time. So let's save the game, I guess. And right now, if we look at the time, it says Monday, 9.07. If you look at the notebook, we have to be at the place on a Tuesday at 13.41. We can press the plus key and skip ahead in time. So we can skip ahead eight hours. Let's press OK. And now the time is Monday, 17. Let's skip another time. Tuesday, one o'clock. Tuesday, nine o'clock. Let's skip, say, six hours. 14 o'clock. What time is it again that it's still short? Oh, did we miss it? Oh, yes, we missed it. That's OK. Let's just go back to another. What time was it? Whoopsies. Tuesday, 13.41. Okay. Five hours, six hours. Is that? 1341 if you look right down here 1341 San Francisco inner city group that's where we are so let's just wait 10 seconds for the job to appear if we wait until the proper time the job just should appear like any normal job if we deliver this job on time with minimal damage we'll get the license and if we meet another driver, we can hire that driver. Look at that, we just met a new driver. If we go to our notebook, on the drivers, we have a new driver here. We can hire that driver. Unfortunately, we don't have enough money, but if we did, we can hire a driver and pin how much profit he's gonna give us. Once we hired him and we had a license, we can assign him jobs. So right now, let's wait for our first recurring job. Right now, there's only two jobs, and they're both ad hoc. They're random jobs. They'll probably never appear the same way back here again. So we have to wait until our jobs appear, our schedule job. Remember, we didn't do anything. We didn't click here or anything. All we did was show up at the right place at the right time and waited for the job. Look at that, a new job appeared. If you look close, it says job 60 reoccurring. And the job is from San Francisco to LA. So let's pick up that job. And deliver it to LA. Okay, now you've met some drivers, you've got a bunch of licenses, we got a nice truck. How do you assign those drivers to do routes and pay you money? So we don't have to do anything, just sit back and collect our paychecks. If we open our notepad, we can see the drivers. We can see if they're working for us, if it's under hired, it's yes. Their star level, and their name. If you want to hire a driver, you look for the driver you want to hire. We have to have enough stars on our rating right here. We have four black stars now. Excellent. So we can hire any driver with four black stars. If we only had three stars, we can only hire a three star driver. So we have Ronnie here. Five stars, four stars. It's not, he's not hired. Let's hire him. We click hire. We can't hire any more drivers because we have 10 drivers. 
Let's fire this poor Tom. Fire. That's hard. We have to bid how much profit he's going to keep. The lower the percent, the more money we make. So let's say 25% because he's such a good four-star driver. Ooh, he refused bid. Hmm. Let's try 35. Ah, maybe 50 then. Oh, I'll keep it 51. Be nice. No! Well, let's hire someone else. A lot of percent. Usually, for one star, 10%, 5% will be fine. But since he's such a good driver, try 64%. Oh, he hired us. Let's give him the best truck we got. Now we hire him. Now we can assign him jobs. You can have different star jobs. They pay different amounts. You'll figure it out. But anyway, you click on a uh, driver up here, Pedro. Let's see the new guy we just hired, Ronnie, I guess. Right now, his schedule is empty right here. If you look at this bar right here, it's empty. If we assign him jobs, the jobs appear. Right now, the guy is in San Francisco. And he's gonna go from San Francisco to Las Vegas and so forth. He's gonna end up in San Francisco back. Let's look for a job for San Francisco. Mm. No job. That's a bad job. It's a really bad job. Las Vegas. Okay. You go from Phoenix to Las Vegas. Las Vegas to Phoenix. You figure it out. The main point is you press these things. They go on top right here. And every week he does the same job. That's how you do it. Every Saturday you will get a notification explaining how much money you made and so forth. Right now we have 604,000. Our driver is four star rating. It's like the end of the level one. We can go on harder levels. So I hope that wasn't too confusing. Bye bye.